Hey and welcome back. So I'm very new to the mini lays and I thought I'd give you some hints and tips as a beginner things that I found in the first few weeks using the Proxon 250 mini lays. The first tip is an obvious one. It's called decent lighting. You can't have enough lighting. And I find one of these battery powered lights is very good at making the controls easy to see. I think the Proxon 250 lathe was a good purchase. It's very well made. But there is an issue with Proxon, is that you will want to buy all their other tools. And there's a lot of them And they're quite expensive. For example, it doesn't come with a tailstock chuck. It does come with a live center, but it doesn't come with a tailstock die holder. So expect to spend a couple of hundred of your local currency to buy all this extra tooling in these beautiful little boxes. Here's some tools I found invaluable for lathe work. And I like it because it's not electronic, but I don't like it because it's plastic. And here's a thread gauge. This is invaluable for checking the pitch of threads when you're turning them on the lathe. And here's another good tip. We've all got these old dies and taps lying around, probably cheaply bought on eBay, some Chinese import, they were a bit rusty. Dump them and go for proper ones. They work so much better. I highly recommend Presto of Sheffield. It's really important to get the tool lined up with the center axis of the lathe. And I like to use a thin six inch ruler and very gently trap the ruler between the stock and the point. If the ruler points backwards, the tool is too high. And if the ruler points towards you, it's too low. But be careful when you trap it. It should just line up perfectly. The only exception I found to that tool rule is if you're using a cutoff blade, I think it works slightly better a little low of center. Let me know what you think. You'll see that this lathe actually has a milling head. This is the PF230, which fits on the back of the mini lathe. But you know what? I don't like it. Well, there's nothing wrong with the mill. The problem is it gets in the way. I really don't recommend you fit the milling head onto the lathe. If you get one of these, buy it with its base. It's cheaper than buying it separately and then regretting it and buying the base separately. If you are using the mill with the mini lathe, make some protectors to protect the ways. And who's noticed how awful turning brass is? It goes everywhere. If you have to buy just one accessory for your lathe, get the quick change tool holder. You will not regret it. It's fantastic. You can set the height of the tools, lock them, and swap them just like that and then tighten them up. Highly recommended. And I fell for, as many people will, the carbide tool bits for the mini lathe. And you know what? I don't like them. Your standard high-speed steel tool bits are much better and give a finer finish. The indexable carbide tool insert fittings are okay maybe for a bigger lathe and turning at high speeds, 
but for a mini lathe, stick to the high speed steel tools. Another top tip is buy a decent set of taps and drills. You won't regret it. And here's a purchase I did regret. Some cheaper Chinese center drills. Some of them are already broken. Go out and buy a decent set. And I think the best tip of all is buy some stock and go and make stuff. Practice makes perfect. You'll have fun and you'll learn a lot. So remember, turning money into swarf is actually a good thing when you're learning to use your mini lathe. I've obviously still got lots to learn, but hopefully those tips were useful for you. Stay safe and stay tuned.